Remember that he has times and seasons in his care, so he can compress time to work in your favor or redeem time for you so that things or time lost is restored. Do not get yourself into a panic or become all worked up because things are not going as planned for you right now. As much as you do the planning, God still has the final say, and one thing you can be sure of is that God never fails. The best of your plans is nothing compared to what God has in mind for you. Even when there is a deadline to meet, or it looks as though it is too late, God can still perform a wonder in your life. When you are tempted to doubt or panic, drive those thoughts out of your heart and choose instead to trust in God. It is not too late for you to get that promotion you have been seeking. It is not too late for you to get married and have a wonderful family. You can still have a child of your own, despite the doctor's report and your current circumstances. You may think it is too late for anything to be done about your failing grades, but you will be surprised at what God can do even in the last minute. And when it looks as though all hope is lost and there is nothing more that can be done, God loves to show up and surprise everyone, yourself included. Do not give up. God does not give in to fate. Do not let go and keep holding on to God and His promises. In time, you will see them fulfilled. The future is not bleak for you. It is filled with the wonderful promises of God and your past or present circumstances do not define you in any way. The fact that you have had to go through many problems does not mean you will continue your life in that way. Do not limit God with your thinking or with your actions. When God is ready to bless you, it does not matter your age, location or position. He will single you out for that blessing that he has prepared for you. Abraham was a man who had every reason to have given up on God. He was old and past his active years. Even if he could still father a child, what about his dear wife Sarah? She was old and had reached menopause. There was just no way she could birth a child at that age, rationally speaking. With what womb, which ovaries, and where would she even get the strength to labor? But God was not looking at all of that. The things that serve as a limitation to man do not hinder God in any way. Whatever it takes, whatever protocols have to be bypassed, God will find a way to bless you. In her old age, Sarah conceived and gave birth to a child a source of joy and happiness to her. One who had been considered as barren became the mother of nations. The same happened with Elizabeth and Zachariah as well. They were both old and had probably lost all hope of giving birth. But, as far as God was concerned, it was not too late, and he blessed them with a baby boy. Not just any child, but the forerunner of Jesus. Whatever your situation is right now, do not think it is too late or that it is over for you. Where you have tried your best and nothing seems to be happening, that is where God will show up and surprise you. Do not worry about those who have gone ahead of you. Stop comparing yourself to your peers. You may have graduated from college together, but... They seem to be far ahead of you with great jobs and wonderful families, while you are still struggling, trying to make a living for yourself. Or perhaps you look at those with whom you got married at the same time, and it brings pain to your heart whenever you see them with their children, because you have been searching for the fruit of the womb without any result. The moment you start unhealthy comparisons, you might get unnecessarily anxious and begin to think that God is late over your life. James 4, verse 2 through 3, says you are jealous and covet what others have, and your desires go unfulfilled, so you become murderers. To hate is to murder 
as far as your hearts are concerned. You burn with envy and anger and are not able to obtain the gratification, the contentment, and the happiness that you seek. So you fight and war. You do not have because you do not ask. Three, or you do ask God for them and yet fail to receive because you ask with wrong purpose and evil or selfish motives. Your intention is, when you get what you desire, to spend it in sensual pleasures. As long as your desires are pure, it is never too late for you to get your blessings from God. Remain consistent in the place of prayer. Keep asking God, keep seeking Him, and keep knocking. He will answer you just as He has promised. God is never late concerning His promises. Scriptures say that he is not slack, as some men count slackness. 2 Peter 3 verse 9 The Lord does not delay and is not tardy or slow about what he promises, according to some people's conception of slowness. Sometimes we want things and want them immediately at our own time and the instant we demand them. When we do not get those things, we feel as though we have been cheated of our right, abandoned or neglected. Mary and Martha must have felt this way when they sent for Jesus to come heal their brother, but he did not come. Four days later, Lazarus was dead and buried, and everyone was in mourning when Jesus eventually showed up. It was so painful for the sisters, and they told Jesus that if he had come earlier, their brother would still be alive. They did not know that Jesus had other plans in mind. He knew all along that Lazarus was dead, so it was not news to him, and he knew what he had to do to bring him back. Jesus simply told Martha in John 11 verse 14. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you and promise you that if you would believe and rely on me, you would see the glory of God? Then, he called forth Lazarus from the grave and restored him back to life. What looked like it was four days late became a miracle and a testimony that spread throughout the land. Many a times we let people and society place us under unnecessary pressures. For instance, if you do not have a good job immediately, you finish college, you may be considered a failure or if you do not get married within a certain age range, you might be perceived in some way in society. Medically speaking, if you do not have a child before menopause, you might as well start thinking about adopting. But with God, nothing is impossible or too hard for Him to do. He is not limited in any way, and even when it seems as though the end has come, He will open up a way for you.